as impeachment, as House impeachment managers draw their battle lines in the opening arguments at the Senate trial, 21 state attorneys general are speaking out against the proceedings. In a 14-page letter to Senate lawmakers warning, quote, this impeachment proceeding threatens all future elections and establishes a dangerous historical precedent. It weaponizes a process that should only be initiated in exceedingly rare circumstances and never for partisan purposes. Get out of the House, a pure partisan vote. Joining us right now are four of those uh, state attorneys generals who signed that letter. Jeff Landry of Louisiana, Curtis Hill of Indiana, Alan Wilson of South Carolina, and Leslie Rutledge of Arkansas. Leslie, first off for you, what made you jump into this? What makes you think this is cheapening the process? If you listen to the Democrats, they're doing their solemn duty. Well, that's right. I think it's important for the chief legal officers of these 21 states, for all of us to be engaged. So that way, uh, we are sending a message to the United States Senate that this is a constitutionally, legally flawed argument that the House has sent over in these impeachment articles. And that is why uh, my colleagues and I gave this letter to the United States Senate so that way they would have the information before them based on our legal opinions that this is, again, a dangerous precedent to set. Uh, it's tearing at the threads of our democracy. Jeff, uh, Jeff Landry, uh, why not? Why isn't this a good move? After all, the president, according to uh, Adam Schiff yesterday, in his very short speech, uh, said that the president was using, uh, using his office to get an advantage in the 2020 election. I mean, basically, what the House Democrats have done is turn the Senate into like a kangaroo court. What we did yesterday in the letter that we sent to the Senate was basically explain to both the Senate and the American people that in any other court of law around this country, these articles could not be had. We, you could not take this case in front of any judge and convict anyone based upon the evidence that the House Democrats have presented to the Senate. Right, and we keep seeing the same case over and over again. Alan Wilson, uh, you saw the sincerity there. They say 72% of the country not only want to see the trial go forward, they actually want to see witnesses. Well, first off, I will say this uh, to the Democrats out there that are cheering this impeachment and cheering for witnesses and everything. You are creating a very dangerous precedent that I promise will come back to halt you. This, this is a precedent that will basically subjugate the presidency of the United States to the whims of the opposition party in every future Congress for here and evermore. Um, as a prosecutor, I never went to trial without a complete and full investigation. The Democrats had an opportunity to interview all the witnesses. Um, the president invoked executive privilege, which nowhere in the articles of impeachment do they, they mention. They omit that completely. Mm -hmm. And if they thought that the president had violated uh, the law right. and uh, they did, didn't want to use executive privilege, they could have taken the court and, and, and sued him on that. They didn't do that, but they wanted to rush this right. to get him into the Senate and then go um, on a witch hunt at that point. Uh, Curtis, here, here's what I think. Tell me if you agree. I sense that as soon as the opposition party from the White House gets control of the House, little is the thing they're going to look to impeach, to pay back, or to cheapen the process. That'll be the result. Do you fear the same thing? Well, that's absolutely the problem. Uh, we're setting an, an, an unruly precedent that uh, tries to affect the outcome of an election. From day one, this was about Democrats being upset about the president's uh, victory, and this has been a, an impeachment march uh, where the engine has been gassed up and a vehicle has been searched for to fill in the gap. Problem is, difficult to find the crime. And so they continue to uh, use these theories like corrupt motive, uh, suggesting that the president can do things legitimately, legally, but if he has a corrupt motive as, de as determined by Congress, well, then we can go after him from an impeachment standpoint. And we just saw the arsenal. We saw the case. It was the same case they had in the House. Now they're just putting it with five people instead of 50. Uh, it's going to be a, a long tedious process for at least the next week, but you guys are not standing for it. You're signing your name and saying it should not stand. Thanks uh, to everyone, uh, all the guys and Leslie. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Thank you.